Hello, my name is Daniel Gopar, and this is the fourth video in the Elix tutorial series. Now, in this video, what we're going to do is create a little function that we can call within Emacs to count the words in the buffer. Now, Emacs already has something like this, and if we do meta x count words, it already tells us right here in the menu buffer. The buffer has four lines, 40 words, and 191 characters. So, the difference between this function and the one we're going to make is that the one we're going to make only counts words. And that's pretty much it. So let's get st uh, let's get right to it. So let's go ahead and create a function defun. And instead of having name clashing, uh, the function name uh, clashing, we're just gonna append cheap to it. So cheap count words. Yeah, because this is this is the cheap version. Yeah, I get it. You get it. <clears throat> so it takes no arguments. And this is a new one. Interactive. So basically what interactive does is it allows you that when you press meta x it allows this function the, the cheap count words to appear as a valid function that you can call because without it you can't call it you can only you can only use it within lisp and I'll show you right now so if I evaluate this control x control e and then I look cheap look at that it pops up on the bottom cheap count words yep and if I execute it nothing happens because we have nothing inside the body now, one thing I want to show you guys is if, is if you press Control H and then F, and then the money buffer is going to tell you, wait, do you want to describe the interaction function? And if you just press Enter, it's going to pop up a new buffer, and it's going to tell you everything that you need to know. Now that works for every function that you, uh, that you see in Elisp. So yeah, Control H and then F. The same also works with Control H and then B for variable. That's pretty much it. So if you're ever curious about what what's the documentation for it or what's the purpose, you can just look up those two functions and you'll have everything you need to know. All right, sweet. So uh, since this is the cheap version, we're just going to do something very easy. We're going to use the let function because we're going to use a local variable to keep track of the words. And we're just going to set words equal to zero. Pretty much that's about it. And then we're going to do go to car and then we're going to point min. All right, sweet. So in this video, you're going to see a couple things that you haven't seen before. And I'm just going to uh, go through them real quick. Because remember, I just showed you the control H and then F. And that will give you the documentation. So point min, that's a function. So what happens if we evaluate it? Control X, control E. Look at that. In the mini buffer, it, it spits out 1. Basically, that's saying that the minimum point in this buffer is at position 1. That's basically saying uh, the where my cursor is at, the minimum place that it can be is at the beginning of the buffer, and that p p position in the buffer is currently known as number one, uh, the column one, basically. Well, not column one, but you know, position one. So let's see, and go to car is basically go to this position, which is the minimum point, so it takes you to the beginning. So if I evaluate that, bam, look at that, I'm all the way over here. Sweet. All right, cool. Let's keep on going. So we're going to use the while uh, keyword expression. And we're going to do forward uh, word, I believe. Yes. So this pretty much does what, it, what the function sounds like. It moves you up a word, forward a word. And what's going to happen is it's going to keep on doing this until it can't go any further. Uh, I can I can barely talk until we can't go anymore uh, until we run out of words all right cool so while we're in here we're gonna do let's see we're gonna say set Q words is uh, one plus words so this is a fancy way of saying uh, add one to the variable right here of course we could do plus one like that and it's still the same thing but this is just faster to do a one plus just like that and of course we're counting the words every time we find some and then once we're done we're gonna do a message we're gonna print a message in the mini buffer and we're gonna do format words in buffer and then the string thing on my job and then words and then sweet that's pretty much it nope the let expression is that the let expression? And yep, so words there we go. So, this is what's gonna happen we're creating a variable, a local variable called words. We're setting it to zero. We go to the beginning of the buffer, 
And then while we can move on forward, while there's still words that we can jump over, we're going to increment each word that we jump over. And then once that is done, we're going to print out a message in the mini buffer that says words in buffer and then just puts words right here. And if you can't tell, format is a special way of doing string uh, manipulation. So yeah, formatting strings. Pretty simple, right? And then once that is over, we're going to return words at the end of the let expression. And since the only thing that this function does is evaluate the let expression, it's going to also return whatever number, whatever the number of words we find. So we evaluate it, cheap count words. And if we do it right here, cheap count words, we have words in the buffer zero. Wow, that is, that is horrible. What just happened? <laughs> words. Let's see, a little, little debugging time. So while set Q, that seems about right. Hmm, cheap count words. Are you sure I did it right? Words in buffer zero. Oh, forward point minus set Q. Ah, look at that, I misspelled it right here. Why don't you guys tell me? So now if I do it, that should work. 67, so 67 words in buffer. <laughs> look at that, I forgot to put the S in words. That's why. Dang, I felt like an idiot for a second. All right, cool, and that was an idiot mistake, so yeah, oh well. All right, cool. So if we do this, and we call it like uh, the function around here, um, so I'm right here, my cursor's right there, and we call it cheap count words. Look at that, all of a sudden, I'm at the end. Now that's not exactly what we want. What we want is that whenever we call the function, it will just tell us the number of, of words in the buffer, and we're still in the same place that we were. So I can be, I should be able to be right here, call the function, and the cursor is still there. The way that we implement the function, that's not pretty much possible right now. So the only way that we can get around doing that is by using this function called save excursion and put everything in it. And everything in it, no, just, just this. So yeah, we're just going to put um, the part where we're jumping over words and stuff. So right here, we're just going to put all of that in save excursion. What basically that does says, hey, I'm going to execute certain commands and it's going to move the point, the cursor, from either in the buffer or to a new buffer or whatever. But whenever I'm done, I want to go back to where I was. And that will do it. So if we go back, control X, control E, we're going to do cheap count words and words in buffer 69. And there you go. And you see, I'm still right here in the same one right on. So that's pretty much it. Now back to the we gotta test this, right? So we created a new a new um a new function. So as always we gotta test it. So require ERT, evaluate that, and then we're gonna do ERT dev test count words test and takes no parameters. And we're gonna do get buffer, create, and we're just gonna create a simple buffer. So basically this says a hey, get me this buffer called test and if it doesn't exist create it that's pretty much it and then with current buffer which is the one that we just created I'm gonna do some stuff with this buffer so first off I'm gonna erase anything that's in there in case uh, in, in case stuff is already in the buffer <laughs> we just erase it <laughs> insert and we're gonna insert hello world into the buffer so if you don't know what that does, let's evaluate it. Bam, look at that. It just puts words in the buffer. That's pretty much it. And then we'll put the should equals cheap count words. And it should equal two because we only uh, inputted two words in there. And then once we're done with that, we got to kill our buffer. Kill buffer test. Because, hey, we got to clean up after ourselves. We don't want a bunch of uh, buffers just laying around. So we're going to do control X, control E to evaluate the, the test. And now we do meta X, ERT, enter, press tab, and we're going to test the function. Bam, look at that. We just tested our little simple count word test. Bam, look at that. How beautiful is that? Also, if you don't believe me, you can create a new buffer. So let's just call this buffer YouTube. And let's play, hello world, I am awesome. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. And let's do cheap count, cheap count words. Look at that, words in buffer five. So yeah, that's 
pretty much it. Ho uh, next uh, video, we'll try to do something a little bit more uh, exciting, I guess. But we'll see. Hopefully, this helps. All right. Thank you.